What up guys, welcome back to another episode today of the My Player Career Mode. This one is episode 101. If you missed episode 100, we live streamed it. We played a couple of finals with Man United right at the start. We played a Community Shield and a Copy Europe. If you want to check it out, it should be on the channel. And also it will be within the My Player playlist on the channel as well. So it should be there. But for today's episode, we have a new club for Ben to join. It is going to be a loan deal. Unfortunately, I spent around about three hours sitting there whilst I was uh, editing another video, just going through and making sure that I was going through and seeing if we get an offer by basically coming out of the save and going back into the save. And it took a very long time, but we did get an offer. It was from uh, West Ham, I do believe. So Ben will be joining West Ham for the upcoming season. And no, again, it's a Premier League club. I can only apologize for that. But as always, I did try my hardest to get it away from England. But still, it's going to be a challenge. West Ham, they are in the Champions League. I was very surprised to see that. I looked at it and originally I thought they might be at Europa League football. So I was looking through the groups. I couldn't see it. But no, they're playing Champions League football at Manchester United, which should be quite... I mean, sorry, West Ham United. Um, I mean, it's going to take me some getting used to say that. But yeah, they're playing Champions League football. We have the Premier League and we've got so much stuff to look forward to at West Ham. And it's going to be a bit more of a challenge as well than it was at Manchester United, I guess you could say. So uh, in the long run, we might be able to, uh, to see if we're going to get uh, West Ham a league title or at least some silverware. That's the one thing I want to try and go for. But I guess overall... The only aim for Ben at this point is to try and make sure he's still winning stuff and try and keep himself relevant as well. West Ham have got a decent team, I'm not going to lie. I looked at the side and I thought, you know what, it's not a bad team by any stretch of the imagination. Quite a few players as well who are decent overall. But until we could get into some West Ham gameplay, we unfortunately had to see an England. I say unfortunately, it's always nice to play at international level. But we did have to see how England would get on in this game against Austria in the European Championship qualifiers. At the time, England were not through the group. There were still two games remaining and we would still have to wait and see whether or not they get themselves through the group or not. At this time, though, if they win the game, they're pretty much through and out of the group. So win here, that's pretty much job done. We can see Ben in a West Ham kit as well coming up. He's being given the number eight squad shirt as well ahead of this upcoming season. And I think the most important bit about it for me was that I came here and I wanted to see if Ben was going to be able to take, you know, penalties, free kicks, stuff that he hasn't been able to uh, take at Manchester United and teams like that. Hopefully we'll see him taking more of those later on this season. But England game up first, Austria the opponents, I nearly said Australia, Austria the opponents, and uh, into the first highlight then, 20 minutes in, Ben again just, you know, dictating the play as he always does whenever he's playing in a Man United and England shirt. His shot though was deflected and Rashford reacted quickest in order to put the ball into the empty net. Honestly, don't know how that one went in, but it did. So I'm not going to complain. Well played from Marcus Rashford to slide in on that one. But Ben's shot as well. You can't count it as an assist. It was deflected. And to be honest, if the shot hadn't have gone so badly, we probably wouldn't have scored. But luckily it did. Normally we see Ben hitting the target with those. That time not meant to be. But anyways, doesn't matter. Rashford scores. England lead. And all they have to do is win the game and they're out of the group at this point. So there we go. That's what we wanted to see. And also as well... I want you guys to let me know what you think because obviously being on loan from Manchester United, it would be a little bit weird to watch Ben play against them. But if you think that Ben should be allowed to play against Man United in the Premier League and potentially if we get there, the Champions League, then let me know with a comment down below. I'm pretty sure there isn't a ruling in the Champions League that you can't play against your parent club. I think that that is the case. But whether or not that is the case, I don't know. But let me know what you think in a comment. I might put it as a poll. I don't know yet. But just to get the general consensus, should Ben be allowed to play against Manchester United, of course, being a loan from them. But we should have taken a two-goal lead. Raheem Sterling with the latest of the chances, 43 minutes in. Sadly, he did enough to turn his man, but then his shot was just so bad on the left foot that it just warranted me uh, calling him out, basically. As we continue on to the second half, it was all England at this point, looking to close out the game. Sterling again going close, this time hitting it first time from a Ben Wood over the top ball. And uh, again, his, uh, his finishing just letting him down. Seems to be the recurring theme of today's episode, Raheem Sterling's finishing, but we won't get into too much detail on that one. We won't talk about it because, of course, I've seen a couple of Raheem Sterling finishes in real life recently as well. And for a man who's got 21 goals, he's finishing, let him down not so long back. But he's having a good season, I suppose, as well. So we do have that. But in terms of this one, we were just waiting for that final whistle. And again, on the ball here, five minutes from time, Ben... Chooses to be unselfish, sets up his teammate, and there is the second of the afternoon. With the strike going in the back of the net from Marcus Rashford, he scores to make it 2-0 to the England setup, and it's now surely England heading through to the European Championships in this end of, well, is it the end of this season? I think it is. So anyways, yeah, at this point, England should be through. I'm happy to say that, but in general, we've done the job that we required to do, and that's decent. 
And in the end, that is how the game would, in fact, finish. So a 2-0 victory to England will send them now out of this group, which means that they now enter the European Championships. Hopefully, we'll have a better European Championships and a better international performance than we have seen in this series. Because, as you know... Not exactly been great, has it, in the past. But now we get to see Wood in action for West Ham United, the new club. The loan deal that sent him over to the London Stadium. I'm kind of intrigued to see exactly how he's going to perform. Because in many ways, he is now the standout player of this side. Is he going to have enough in order to be able to, you know, excel and, and become their number one man? Or will he not be able to carry this West Ham team to victory? It's a decent side. You can see it on the screen right there. A couple of overrated players um, and uh, a few players that I think maybe shouldn't be in the ratings that they are currently. Overrated. But there is a few players in there as well that I'm really intrigued to see how we will perform with. Nevertheless, the first game coming up, West Ham versus Bournemouth. It's the Premier League. Of course, we've already seen him feature for Manchester United in this competition. He will feature again here today for West Ham United. Bournemouth are no slouches, but they see themselves sat 16th going into this one. West Ham have another great start to the league campaign. One win, one draw, one defeat from their opening three games and their number eight starts here today at the London Stadium. Wearing that kit, you can see that is the side that they've gone with. Watford as well have brought in some new players. Again, they've done a lovely bit of business again, Watford. And again, I expect them to do very well this season. I don't know how they're doing it, but they're finding some steals and bargains all over the place right now. That is the Bournemouth team, though, that will feature here. Damari Gray in their side as well from Leicester, of course. And as we go into game... It's West Ham's new look man that will try and carry them to a victory here today at the London Stadium. But things didn't really go the way we were expecting to see them. As on the stroke of half time, Bournemouth had their first chance, the first chance of the game as well, when Gruwich picks up the ball and unleashed a lovely strike in order to put the away side up a goal to nil. Not the way I wanted to see this one happening. I've got to be honest, I was very disappointed to see them just not be able to defend. Honestly, they didn't close him down. Why did they allow the time for Marco Gruic to pick up the ball there? Look at this. Number 32 there. I think it's Toprak has got to close him down. He allowed him way too much time, way too much space. He went into it and he smashed it home to make it 1-0. So we only really have ourselves to blame there. And that is going to be the reason the goalkeeper is going to scream at his defence, I'm sure. Not closing down the player enough. Continuing on, though, into the second half. We were looking to find that equaliser. Couldn't do it. And in the end, Zungu picks up the ball, finds Gonzalez. Who was, uh, was the assist maker for the first goal, even though Gritch was the man who scored it. And it was a wonderful strike as well. Eventually, Gritch finds himself in that position again and he scores a second. So, we didn't learn from the first mistake in the first half. Not closing him down. He gets the ball again. Once again, just free to ghost into the box. And he scores to make it 2-0 to Bournemouth. So, the debut for West Ham, not exactly going to plan, let's say. But, that is the way the game ended. A 2-0 defeat. In his opening game as a West Ham United player, really brought him back down to earth. You know, he's used to, to being able to just do what he wants at Man United and just have the freedom to attack. And that game, he played so badly. A 5.4 match rating for Ben. Losing possession a few too many times and not really doing his defensive duties as well. But I'm sure they'll learn from it. It's a 2 defeat. It's the way it goes sometimes and will bounce back in the right way. But as I said, nice to see West Ham playing Champions League football. And that is the game that comes up next for you all. They've been drawn in a group against PSG. Fiorentina and Red Bull Salzburg, three tough, uh, I guess, teams as well that we're going to have to try and feature against. But I think West Ham can get themselves out of the group. I was thinking that maybe they'd be playing them uh, European football, but of course it's Champions League and that's the way it's going to pair. So Red Bull Salzburg, the first team out of PSG, Salzburg and Fiorentina. Of course, I would like to say that it'll be West Ham and PSG getting out of the group. But honestly, I do not know because Fiorentina are a good side. Red Bull Salzburg are a good side as well. So it's going to be quite tough to see who will get out of the group. So going into game, it's a strong side again from West Ham. I think we're away first as well. So it means that PSG take on Fiorentina in the other game. I don't exactly know how Manchester United's group has been drawn. I'll show you it, I guess, next episode. So you can see who is in what group, what England teams are in there and all that good stuff. I'll show you it all in the next episode. But for now, just enjoy the first Champions League game as it came in this series. So... That's the side, Lanzini on one wing, Zivkovic on the other. And at the time, I was thinking, you know what? This is going to be such a good game to watch. Seven minutes in, we had the first chance. Ben, turning his man on the edge of the area, he's definitely fouled. No question about that. Referee lets the advantage play for a little bit longer than maybe he should have. But look who was running to pick up this ball to take the free kick. No way is it going to happen. The wall was kind of small, so I thought, you know what? Let's see. And then in the end, it's Ben's first free kick goal. But it's not the way I wanted to have it because he goes to try and get it over the wall, dipping into the back of the net. It hits one of the Red Bull Salzburg players in the face. 
It connects off him, deflects the other way, and the keeper is completely beaten. It goes in the bottom corner, the other side that Ben was trying to hit it into, and it's West Ham United taking the lead. It's a free kick goal from Ben, and as the free kick was on target, it's going to count. Honestly, though, I was just sat there thinking, what on earth has just happened? How is that the goal that we finally score Ben's first free kick goal with? Genuinely didn't know. I genuinely was just wanting to, like, I guess, have a repeat and think maybe, you know what, let me try it again. We'll definitely get it next time out. But, yeah, just, I just felt so, so bad that that was the way we scored our first free kick. Nevertheless, it is Ben's first free kick goal. It is going to be the only goal that matters so far in the game. But as you continued on again, West Ham had the chance to make it 2-0. Lovely ball over the top from Ben. This time, Zivkovic gets in, and he should score, in my opinion. He's got a bit more time than maybe he was thinking. And I think he should be scoring that one to put it in the back of the net to make it two. So still in the lead, but a very na uh, well narrow lead at that point as well. So as the game got to a close, a 1-0 no win. It is what it is. We get the victory. But to score the goal in the way that it happened, especially for Ben to get his first free kick goal, I was absolutely buzzing. But I wasn't buzzing in the aspect of the way it went in. That was my only issue with it. With the deflection the way it was, I felt so bad for the defender, but... I'm going to be so happy for Ben. It's his first free kick. Hopefully, he'll, he'll be able to take as many more now that's to come later on. But moving into that, that is the third game. We've got one more game for you all to watch. It will be another Premier League game, which will feature against West... Uh, no, not West Brom. I was going to say West Brom. It's actually against Watford. As I said, made some very good signings recently. And are signings that I would think are going to do the business for them in terms of being able to get themselves, uh, I guess, up the league again. Have another good season. Potentially try and take it all the way. Of course, we've seen in the past... We saw them do very, very well in terms of that one. But, I mean, ultimately, you know, we, we expect Watford to not have as great a season this season as they did last. They did very well last season, but they didn't quite manage to get the title. Whether or not they're going to do it again, we'll see. Anyways, carrying on. Last game for you all to look forward to. As I said, Watford, very good team, very good signings against this new look West Ham with Wood there. But having said that, when I looked at the league table, one of them is sat just above the relegation zone. The other one... He sat just above them in the in the uh, the relegation fight. So, uh, yeah, it's crazy because even if whoever wins this one, we're still very early doors. We'll still be only five games in. But to look at the two teams, see how good the two teams were, to see them down this bottom of the table, it looked really, really strange. But the side, as I said, they've got Firmino, Van Dijk. They've got some very, very good players. They've just added as well to the mix. Benatia from Bayern. Oh, no, wait. Is it Benatia? I don't actually know if it's Benatia. Is it Benatia? I could be wrong. Um... But yeah, they've added someone else. Could it have been? I think it might have been. It's a Bayern centre-back anyways. I'm not 100% sure who it was. Um, but yeah, moving into game. Four minutes in, we had the first chance. Ben looking to try and create it. He does very, very well, actually, to dodge that sliding tackle. Unfortunately, the keeper there, Lafont, does very well to save it as well. But eventually, the clearance wasn't great. Found its way straight back to West Ham, who eventually played it back towards Ben, who turned his man brilliantly, unleashes what was a rocket, and it came back off the top of the crossbar. So disappointing to not see that one nestle right in the back of the net in the top corner. And as eventually Watford did their business, they managed to, uh, to deal with it. And they got themselves away from their goal. And moving into the second half, disaster struck. As I said previously, you know, you've got to kind of look at this and say, we've got to defend slightly better. And that's not the way you want to defend. Watford's first shot in the game ends up turning good. And Santi Mina put the home side 1-0 in front. In a game where we'd hit the crossbar, we had a chance. You know, it was disappointing to say the least, but unfortunately it was the outcome. So Watford take the lead and there's only around about 37 minutes left of this game to change it. So we'll have to hopefully see that happen from Ben. But you know what? Even though we conceded that goal there to go a goal to nil down, the signs were positive. We created chances, we hit the crossbar, we could have quite easily got something out of this game. Fortunately, that wasn't to be. We did fall to a one defeat and that is the way that the episode will end today. Right on the verge of the relegation zone. So uh, in terms of this one, it's going to be quite an interesting season, I think. But for the Champions League, we got off to a winning start. We are in the group and we are very much looking to try and get out of that group. We'll just try and improve in the Premier League as much as we can do from here on out. But if you did enjoy today's episode, I'd like when we greatly appreciate it as always, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support on the channel. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button if you are new around here and like what you see. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. But other than that, guys, I'm out, and I'll catch you all again at 4 p.m. tomorrow for yet another video. It should be the Ji Sheng story coming back at you guys. So if you want to check out the table, it'll come up right now. But other than that, guys, peace. I'll see you all again tomorrow.